looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best set in Madden that you need to be doing right now. Or potentially not the best set that you shouldn't even touch, guys. It's going to come down to whether or not we're going to go through this video with you guys and go through and rate exactly what I think of this set, guys. Now, this set is not like the rest. It's not like our typical set that we do. It's a little bit different because of the, you know, the free factor and a bunch of other stuff. But I will go through all that in due time. But, guys, before we do get into today's video, make sure you down below, like the video, comment down below. Let me know who the Super Bowl MVP is going to be, guys. Comment down below. See if we can get some correct predictions here. And, yeah, it's super important to like and comment. Helps the channel out a lot to keep it up. And then, of course, guys, subscribe as always. Know the bell. And if you guys need coins, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle. Now, guys, let's get over to the set. The set's a unique one. I love, I love the idea of the set. It sounds fun, but we have to go through, is it worthwhile? Because it is expensive. And other sets in the past are typically not this expensive. Super Bowl present, Super Bowl MVP set. 99 overall Super Bowl MVP. Now, again, guys, I think what the set is going to be this, which is interesting, is that you get a 99 overall player, which is going to be the first 99 overall in Madden rip, like off the, off the rip, right? And more than likely can be powered up. More than likely. And if they if you can't, I hope they do give a power up with him at some point. But it's gonna be fun. It's a fun set, right? But fun doesn't always mean it's worthwhile for every team. So that's what we're gonna go through. So complete this set's earn the 99 overall Super Bowl MVP and all four masters back as Nat. If you complete this set before the player is added to the game on 2-8, you will receive a collectible that will automatically turn into the player when it is released. So February 8th, you have to do this by February 8th, which is tomorrow. So make sure you guys are getting that done if you didn't want to get that done. If you're, cutting, you're cutting it a little short now. A little close on time, right? You have until tomorrow. Um, day tomorrow, guys, for the most part, you have until 2-8. So that does mean you have all day tomorrow because, again, the 8th is going to be, I believe, Monday. Now, I wonder if you know who this player is, can you still do the set, right? Because you'll know by the end of the night who the Super Bowl MVP is. If you complete the set before the players add to the game until you receive a collectible that will automatically. That's interesting. So I wonder if you're able to go ahead and check it out like, right as it happens. If you're still, because based on this wording, guys, you will be able to do the set even after you know the Super Bowl MVP is. So if that's the case, it might be worthwhile. But these players might skyrocket, guys. What I would recommend, if you can snipe these guys out for you know a decent price, like let's say right now, like he's 315. If you can get him for like 270 or something, maybe hold on to them. Because if uh, you know we end up getting them a home or something crazy or a guy that someone really wants because we, well, we hear that we're going to get them, uh, you do know that these players will go up in price. You can probably make a decent buck. But that was just a side note. Back to the video, guys. So, essentially, guys, you have to get all four of these players, throw them in the set, and then you'll get all four of them back as Nat, and you will get the 9 overall Super MVP. And I believe it is auctionable because it is a repeatable set. So, I'm going to go with this auctionable on that one. So, let's go into the math, right? We have to break down the math first to see if it's worth it. Now, other sets that we've done, guys, are different because the other hero sets we do... It usually requires three to four players and you get the master, but you usually get one of them for free from the solo. So it cuts the price down a little bit, makes it more affordable. This one, there's no free players. End of the day, right? It's gonna be a little bit different of a dynamic. So the set here, Joe Namath, going to go 315. Like I said, you don't really pay 315 for Joe Namath. You pay for like, you pay like 280, 290, 300. Do not pay this price. You will find the snipe very easily. William Perry, again, he was just 415K. He's gonna be coming down. He's gonna be like 360. So pay around 360. Tyree Kill. 385, you can get them for 360 as well. Just got to sit there for a few minutes and pick them out. Guys, I'm telling you, it doesn't sound like saving 20K is worth your time. If you save 20, 25K on each card, 100K off the deal. It's worth it, trust me. And Dama Kung Su, 230, he was just 220 as well. You can get them for around 200K though, if you really sit there. But nonetheless, guys, the set, the math I did from earlier is 1.22 million coins. So 1,222,000 coins, what's going to cost to do the set? Sounds very expensive. So this is why we got to get into, is it worth it? So a lot of people don't waste their coins. So the thing here is, right, we have to first look into who could the MVPs be? Because that's going to dictate whether or not it's worth it, right? Because if the MVP is something crazy like Mahomes, right, and maybe Mahomes goes for six, 700K, so the set really only costs you 500K because you can just sell Mahomes for 700K. And now for 500K, you got four end game 98 overall cards, right, per se, right? Overall based. So you have to realize that. So let's say we get, what scenarios do we win, right? So here are the potential MVPs. Tom Brady, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, maybe Sean Murphy bunting, right? Like, you know, the obvious ones. Then on the Chiefs side, it's going to be um, Patrick Mahomes, Le'Veon Bell, Clyde Edwards-Alaire, Tyree Kill, Travis Kelsey. Let's say the obvious ones. Uh, Tyra Matthew. Now, which ones do we win? And what situations do we win and it's worthwhile? Honestly, Mahomes, 
Tyree Kill, I don't think Tyree Kill is a good one because the thing with Tyree Kill is kind of like the Dion effect. Like, okay, he has all thresholds already and he's already 99 speed. What, what can an upgrade really do for him, right? Is he getting taller? Is he going to get six foot two with his next upgrade? So I don't think Tyree Kill is going to be worthwhile. So I think on the Chiefs side, only ones that will be really good are Tyron Matthew, for the most part, Patrick Mahomes, and maybe maybe Clyde, but then we have rookie premiere, so it's not worth it again, because at least Clyde maybe get like a 90, something crazy, like a 97 speed, but he won't. He won't get that, and, and he's a rookie premiere. So again, on the Chiefs side, it really may only be Mahomes, it's worth it, and Tyron Matthew. On the Buccaneers side, the only guy that ends up being maybe a complete monster, like Sean Murphy Bunting gets like a 98 speed, probably 97 speed with this upgrade. Um, if we're lucky, maybe if like a Leonard Fournette, but if they, they could kill him, right? But if Leonard Fournette maybe gets like 97 speed with like max break tackle, trucking, you know, everything in power and strength, maybe he's worthwhile. Um, and then Mike Evans. Mike Evans, maybe with that six foot four, six foot five frame combined with maybe they give him like a 97, 98 speed, you know, he could, he could be pretty crazy as well. But again, there's not too many of them. So you got to hope they're there. So let's start with that. So remember, these players could go up or down because you can apparently see who it's going to be. Uh, so you're going to be able to do the set knowing. So more than likely, you're going to be able to know whether or not it's worth it. But if you wait till you know it's Patrick Mahomes, let's just say, right? You wait till you know, the set's going to be expensive. You do it now, you can make a little bit of coins. And I don't mean do the set. Just buy the players. Hold them separately. Because if Pat Mahomes, go, you know, we get released, all these cards could potentially go up like 20, 30, 40K a piece, which could end up being, you know, or maybe more. They could go up like 50, 60K a piece. So let's say you make like 200K takeaway reduction. You probably end up with like an extra 100K made. A little decent investment. Or you just do the set instead of taking the reduction and then go keep them homes. But um, let's get into whether or not it's worth it. So starting off with the players, guys. Here's the issue. Here's the issue with these players. More than likely, guys, if we get a Tyree kill, we already got a Tyree kill. So pretty much we paid double. And yeah, you have to power them up. That's the case. But power up, power up is not even really worth it. Like I said, you're not going up much. Joe Namath is a quarterback. The two most likely MVP candidates are... Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady. So off the rip again, you might get screwed there. But again, they're auctionable, so you can go ahead and sell Mahomes. What if you want to keep Mahomes, right? What if you what if you want like that? That's a that's a card you want, right? Like that's a card you're gonna want to keep. So now you just get stuck with Joe Namath as the backup. So that's going to be the issue. Next, defensive tackle. People don't really care for defensive tackles this year. William Perry is a really good one, so I wouldn't be opposed to getting him, right? Tyree Kill, best wide receiver in the game. No no hands. You no hand no 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 doubt hands down. You want him. Sorry. You want Tyreek Kill, so no argument there. And then Dama Kung Su is another issue. Right end. He only has a 78 speed, but he has great blocks and great power move. I would kick him into defensive tackles. So pretty much you're getting two defensive tackles out of this, a wide receiver, and a quarterback. So off the rip, and Dama Kung Su and Joe Namath really aren't that great. Joe Namath is a great quarterback. I would love to have him, but again, because of abilities and other reasons, people have uh, kind of strayed away from getting him. So Joe Namath is great, and Dama Kung Su are great. But I don't think they'd be useful like too commonly. So really what you're doing the set for is Tyree Kill, Perry, and for the time being, name it and so I don't know if there'll be long-term guys on your team. But you're getting the MVP. So let's say the set costs you 1.2 million coins and you go ahead and you subtract, right? So that's 1.2 million and you take away how much value you're getting, right? So you're going to get about, when all said and done, I think Mahomes, let's just say it's Mahomes, goes around 700K, 600K. After reduction, you end up around the 600K range, let's just say. So it's minus 600k. You're looking at around 600k is what the set costs you. It's 1.2 mil. Subtract by 600. It's half. It co set costs 600k. So at the end of the day, you have to be content with saying this. I spent 600k to get these four players. Is that a good value? It's an amazing value because Tyreek Hill alone was already 380, 360-ish, and William Perry was another 380. So you already made your money back, right? It's a great value. But then the other thing is this: you have to take a look at your team. Can you use Perry, Namath, and Dominic? So you can use Hill, but can you use all of them? If you can't use all of them, and you can only use Tyreek Hill, maybe it's not worth it. Because now, let's say this. Let's say you're a God Squad, right? You're buying the MVP regardless. You're buying him regardless. So if you don't need these four players, just save your 600K and buy the MVP with that money. Versus spending 1.2 million coins, and the only way you get down to 600K is by selling the MVP that you can't keep because you need the coins back, right? So definitely keep that in mind. So who would I recommend this for? First off, by rating on the set, 6 out of 10. Why is it 6 out of 10? Because it doesn't apply to everyone. Budget squads, can they do this? No. Budget squads should not be doing this. Unless, unless you can start all four players, you would do the set. The only way a budget squad can do this is if you can start every player here, afford to power them up, and then go sell the Super Bowl MVP. So it would cost you 620 to get all four players. In that case, it's a great set for you because you are getting four usable end game top tier budget cards that you can never afford for a good price. In that sense, it's good. But 
If you want to keep, if you, want, if you were saving up money for the Super MVP, you cannot afford 1.2 million coins. It's not, it's not possible. And you need to be able to use them, right? If you're a budget squad, you can't afford to just be getting players that you already have nat players at, right? Second, is it good for no money spent teams? If you're a no money spent grinder that has a lot of coins, like I said again, and you can start all four of these players, go for it. If you can't start all four, like if you can only start Tyreek and maybe Perry, and you're not going to start Namath or Sue, it's not really worth it for you, probably. Just save your money. Now, why should God squads do this? God squads that are getting the MVP regardless, like they're going to get him, but they also need Tyreek Hill on their team and they also want William Perry. It's worth it. But again, that's the issue. There's not many scenarios where you use all these players. That is why it's a six out of 10 set. Is it worth it? I personally don't think it's worthwhile. It's a fun set. It's fun to have the idea of a Super Bowl collectible that could turn to anyone. But again, if you really want, just wait. Wait till tonight. Wait till tomorrow night. Wait till tomorrow night. Get a feel. Maybe not even the whole game, right? Just wait to halftime. You know, you know more or less who's up. Like if someone's a big lead, you know who's gonna get the MVP or the stats. It's gonna be either Brady or Mahomes. They're going back in a shootout, right? So you know more or less. But again, here's the thing: the only guy here who's end game must have is Tyreek Hill, who's the closest William Perry, but he's a defensive tackle, and people don't really play with defensive tackles like that this year. So, in my personal opinion, guys, I don't think it's worth it. Six out of ten. You're spending 1.2 million coins. It's a lot of coins to have all those what ifs. What if you get a double quarterback and now you don't want to use Namath? Bust. Can't be used. And now you want to keep the quarterbacks, so now you end up spending 1.2 million anyways. You get stuck with all of them, and that's 1.2 million down the drain. And all you got is a quarterback and Tyreek Hill, which again, not a bad value, but you did do that. You could have saved that coin to something else. But that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. Overall, only way I would do it, guys, is if you can start all four of these players, you have a way for them, or you have a theme team or something that some way they all work out. Otherwise, guys, I probably wouldn't touch this set. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to comment and like, guys. Comment down below who's your Super Bowl MVP prediction. I don't want I don't want predictions tomorrow night when the game's been played. I want them now. Comment them down below, like the video, and of course, turn on that notification bell and subscribe if you guys need coins. Head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.